Hey everyone, John from Nintendo Life here, and recently we did a video on Nintendo DS game prices and how they're skyrocketing as of late. So games like Pokemon Soul Silver go for £200, Ghost Trick £100, games like 999 £70. If you want anything that's not brain training, or Nintendogs, or most Mario games, then be prepared to pay a ton for used DS games. I don't know when this happened, but the, the market's just gone as of late. So most people saw this video and they thought to themselves, yeah, that's too much to get into, or I'm gonna go sell all my games now and be a millionaire. But one viewer named Shane saw the video that they're fully aware of the value of these games, that they saw the video, and they contacted me saying, I want to send you Ghost Trick, which is a game I've been hunting down for a long time. Ghost Trick used to go for like 15 pounds, but now 100 pound is the going rate. And I've been, I have stock alerts on news game stores like CEX. I'm just trying to find anything to get my hands on this game. But yeah, Shane came out of nowhere and wanted to donate it to us. Now, I played this over a lot in my mind because accepting something that's worth that much isn't a small ask. Um, so I had a big conversation with Shane, just trying to make sure, are, are you sure you want to part with this? Because if you, if you aren't sure, then keep it, sell it, whatever you want. But it turns out Shane wanted to give Ghost Trick to someone who's going to appreciate it rather than a scalper, or just someone who's going to sell it on. So here's Ghost Trick right here. But this isn't the end of it, because he's, Shane actually sent far more than just Ghost Trick. But before we go on to what else Shane sent, I want to just get a bit more of a backstory on this. So there's a lot more to do with Shane, which I will, I will get into. But as a kid, I guess the 3DS era started when I was 16. And as a kid, I would often sell my games to buy more games. As I'm, just, I'm sure most of you did. So if the 3DS era started when I was 16, the DS era, I must have been, what, eight when the DS came out? That doesn't sound right. That, that's, when, that's when it came out. But um, a lot of, I played a lot of DS games. I ended up selling a lot of them too. So I played a big chunk of the library. But to me, game preservation is very important. And I like holding on to the memories of what I've played. And there came a point in life where I would start to regret the games I sold. I remember, uh, this is just a very small game, but Mario Strikers Charged on the Wii. I sold that game to buy Smash Brothers Brawl, uh, along with a bunch of other games too that I sold. And I just ended up saying to myself, I really miss playing Mario Strikers. And that happened again and again and again with every game sale. And nowadays, because I have a job now, I, I'm, not, I'm not a school kid anymore, I, I tend to not sell games. I hang on to these and, and just appreciate the memories I had playing everything here. Um, but the DS market has gone out of my grasp, and buying a DS game, just buying one DS game is a treat. I, I recently bought the Dragon Quest uh, Remake Trilogy. I had to, I had to scour uh, far and wide for anything that's affordable, because these, these are crazy in price now. But that's not something I want to do very often, so I'm trying to find the best prices possible for DS games, and that's tough. That's very tough right now. So yeah, games like Ghost Trick, and um, there's other ones too, like 999, that I'm just trying to have hold of again, because I love them so much, but I just can't play them anymore. My current DS collection is it's fairly sizable, but I'm, I have a ton of gaps, and I look at what Xeon's got. Look at this guy! <laughs> He's got, like, everything! So I want to get back to the point where I... Just, I can hold in my hands the games that I've played in the past, and also appreciate some new ones that I missed out on, which of course there's a ton, the DS library's huge, but it's more than just what I sold. So, when I was in year 8, which I, uh, what, how old was I then? I must have been 12, 13, uh, my house was broken into, and uh, most of my family didn't lose much. I think it was just some suitcases, which they used to pack away everything they stole, uh, there were some DVDs, but the big hit was, of course, my room, where I had my games, everything I grew up with. I had my Dreamcast, my Game Boy, uh, my Nintendo Wii. All the games I had from the age of... I must start gaming from when I was like 5 until 13. All my childhood games were taken. Uh, they were just all stolen. And that leaves a pretty big mark on you. Whenever I hear a, a, like a sound outside, I peer out the... I'm paranoid. I, I, I peer out the curtains to make sure someone's not trying to get into the house. Um, so that, I don't talk about this very often, but yeah, I lost a big chunk of my games then. A big part of those were, uh, DS games. So not only did I have my DS library stolen, but I also sold some of them myself as well. So there's just a big chunk of DS games that I just don't have anymore. 
Uh, so in comes Shane, the savior Shane. But what made this even harder is Shane had a house fire. And this pretty much said, I, I, I told myself I can't, I can't take games from someone who had a house fire. We talked for a while though, um, and it turns out that Shane's DS uh, no longer exists, that, that went out in the fire. But he had a few games which he, weren't, he wasn't sure they even worked because they were part of the fire. But he had no intention of buying a new DS to figure out if they worked. So for him, they're just going to live in the attic forever. And so he just wanted someone to appreciate these games. So I, I mulled it over for a while, and I thought, you know, if if they're just going to live in storage forever, then I may as well give them a happy home. Um, so we, we talked for a while about this, but eventually Shane ended up sen sending these down. And I missed the doorbell, so the mailman came, and these ended up going to the, the nearest depot with the mail. So I had to go and collect it then. And when I went to collect it, uh, I found this. So I was expecting a small box with Ghost Trick, but what I actually picked up was this uh, Lego Star Wars set. <laughs> and uh, I was like, did I accidentally order Lego Star Wars? And it sounds like something I would do. So I called up my fiance and I was like, did, did you order Lego Star Wars? And she's like, no. <laughs> and then I realized there's some tape on the top of the box. And it turns out this was just the packaging for what Shane was sending. So I was still just expecting Ghost Trick at this point. And I opened up the box and yeah, first up, was Ghost Trick, uh, that we've, we've covered this. Then, there was Okami Den, which is such a delightful sequel to Okami, one that's not really talked about very often these days, but it's just a brilliant little game. But what really surprised me was Shane sent Pokemon Soul Silver, the big box, with the Pokewalker. This was like the first thing we covered in the video, and we said it was 200 pounds. Now, there is, there's a small catch. The game's not included. So what's in here? Uh, we have the actual game box. So there's Pokemon Soul Silver right there. But if I were to open this up, you will see the cartridge is missing. So we've got, we've got the manual, we've got the cartridge, and we have the Pokewalker itself, which is right here. So there's the Pokewalker right there. So while the game's not included, this is what gives the game its value. So... I'm sure Shane is aware of this as well, but this this is everything that made the game expensive. I mean, buying a cartridge, just a loose one, is still around £70, but adding all this, you're, you're looking at nearly £200 in value. So I will, I will never sell any of this. I want to appreciate and love all of this, but just to put it into perspective of what Shane's sending here, it's, it's bonkers. There was also a two-page note that I want to read out from Shane. It's fairly short, so it says, Hi John, I hope the parcel has arrived in good condition. I'll keep my fingers crossed that the game works. I've given it a really good clean, and my other media such as CDs and Blu-rays have worked fine, so hopefully it should all be good. I've also enclosed the box and Pokewalker for Pokemon Soul Silver. Unfortunately, the game card was inside my DS at the time of the fire, so it didn't survive, but the rest of the package did. I have no use for it, but I thought it might be of some use for you. Finally, there is a copy of Okami Den. This is the same situation as with Ghost Trick. I would hate to sell it and for the game to not work, so I'd rather pass it down to someone who wants it for their collection and has nothing to lose if it doesn't function properly. Plus, saves you from the crazy prices. I wish you all the best and hope they bring you as much joy as they did me. Thank you for your altogether fantastic work. Shane. I... I don't know what to say. <laughs> I... I offered Shane any form of payment or gratitude for this, but he didn't want it. Um, so I, I don't know, I don't know what to give you. Hopefully this is enough just to showcase your generosity. But one thing I can do is this backdrop behind me is basically in every video. And we have like the first shelf, which is handhelds. Then there's the Zelda shelf. There's like the two shelves down there. And then I have my valuable shelf. This has things like, there's, there's Tingle games there, they're, they're, they're too valuable, but games like Snatcher, and Panzer Dragoon Saga, and Earthbound. And I want to sort of immortalize this gesture by putting Pokemon Soul Silver, Ghost Trick, and Okami Den on that shelf. Um, so hopefully that is some form of repayment that your gesture will be in every video I do from now on. Because um, I, 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 I'm so thankful. 
<laughs> and uh, I know you're worried if these games work. They do work. Uh, Ghost Trick and Okami Den work absolutely fine. And I'm playing through Ghost Trick right now, and I, I adore it. This is I think this is one of the very best games ever made. <laughs> like it's it's ridiculously good, and there's nothing like it. And for those who haven't played it, it's done by the uh, the, the Phoenix Wright guys. Which I know people love. So Shane, again, thank you so much for this. And all of you, thank you so much. I entered this community, the Nintendo Life community, late last year. And I wasn't expecting a great response. Because <laughs> you know, Alex has been doing this channel since the or pretty much since the start. And it's, it's his baby. Um, so just another guy coming in, I didn't expect to be welcomed in. But you were. You were, you were also welcoming. Um, so thank you all for everything you do but I, I guess that's all i have time for now so again shane you are the best in the world and you all are so if you enjoyed this let us know in the comments below and go to that subscribe button and play ghost trick and say thank you to shane <laughs> and we'll see you next time bye everyone <laughs>